All right, here we go. Uh, the long-awaited one-year uh, update after having uh, uh, stem sent. I can't talk stem cell injection procedure in South Florida. Um, yeah, it's been a whole year. Actually, as I'm shooting this video, it's um, what is it? The twenty the 27th of June I had the procedure done I believe on June 21st so we actually a little over a year had this done and uh here's the update um as maybe if you've been watching my videos you probably figured by now uh everything's been staying the same basically no real improvement and you watch my last couple videos I think 10th month and 11th month uh update you'll see that I still have those, uh, which I thought were stem cells. Apparently, they're just floaters that came after the procedure. Um, still see them all the time. You know, they come in, come in, I come in and out. Um, I've seen other people comment it, you know, on my videos and everything like that. And some people say hey, they've had this procedure done and and they've seen floaters for up to a year, year and a half after, and then they go away. Some people um, told me that they, they still got them, whatever, um, and they're just dealing with it. So, I don't know. It just it, Right now, it feels like the floaters aren't going anywhere no time soon. That's what it just feels like. But I'm going to give it more, more time because these are very annoying, especially considering how they came about, a procedure that was supposed to, you know, help the vision and help, help you know, be very beneficial turns into kind of like a annoying uh unnecessary problem so to speak right so um but like i said i'm just getting through it it is what it is um about these floaters i was you know told several times there are there is a procedure that can actually remove these uh, floaters in my right eye it's only in my right eye but you know it's considered uh another surgery right which Right now, I'm kind of off the whole eye procedures for now, um, <laughs> you know, because of, you know, what I went through, so to speak. So, uh, I don't know. Over time, though, I ain't going to lie to you. If, if it's like this a whole another year from now, and I'm still seeing a ton of floaters going in and out, in and out. I'm trying to see, like, right now. See? I see one right now. That's crazy, right? It, look, it just went that way. It's crazy. But anyway, um... I don't know in a year from now if i'm still dealing with this i might i might do uh or try to do the uh removal of the floaters you know um because people say oh just get used to them it's, it's really not getting used to them it's it's more like accepting them accepting that you, but this is nothing where you're like oh I, I, don't, I don't see these floaters no more it's to me it's been a year and i'm like it, it you never really get used to it all right, but I will say, um, if anything, the vision is basically the same as when I went in. No, not as when. It, well, yeah, as when I went in um, for the surgery for the injections. But um, if anything, it, I feel like they might be a tad little, little bit worse, in my honest opinion you know just a little bit but not enough for me to be like oh jesus there was it's just you know the fact that there was definitely no improvement definitely um you know it is what it is so year update um i just feel like obviously at this point yes if you're watching the videos i would be like well it was pretty much a waste right um it didn't work at least for me now some people who had this procedure done a few you know say they they've had improvements or they had slight improvements many other ones who had this procedure done say um it didn't do anything then there's some other people uh that had some very bad experiences having this particular procedure done so um and I see people comment, you know, on my videos and everything. They ask, um, you know, should they get it done? Or some people say they're still going to get it done. On the Facebook group about this procedure, 
I've seen several people, you know, um, talking about going or hoping that they can get accepted into this um, procedure. And when I see that, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of cringe a little bit when I see these people who were kind of like me, who was like so excited about the opportunity and so like hopeful for this particular procedure. I kind of be like, uh, uh, but maybe it will help them out. You know, it is what it is. But if it was up to me um, and someone asked me directly, would, would I get this particular procedure done? I would not recommend it from my experience. Uh, just because, and I'll do more videos as time goes on. I'm not done just because it's the year thing. I'm going to keep going with this. Um, but it's just so many little things that I learned in the last year about the procedure and about the people involved and everything and talking to people, good and bad, about the procedure. Just kind of, I learned a lot. Ex you know, some expensive ass lessons I had to learn, but I learned a lot in this last year, but, um, still very, very optimistic and hopeful for better treatment in the near, near future coming up, you know, so for people that are watching this in this situation, once again, like I said in the last video, don't be down, you know, don't watch these videos and be like, oh man, it's a wrap, no, nah. Don't be hopeful. Um, you know, this procedure didn't work for me, but I'm hopeful that there's even, even if it did, like I said, made it a little worse. I'm still hopeful that something's going to come out soon that's going to help the, the vision, any I lost or, or really improve, ultimately improve my vision overall, right? So I'm very hopeful about that because we living in a time where there's tons and tons of research going on and testing going on. And I'm like I said, I'm gonna keep talking about it in the future, or whatever. But um, don't be discouraged about it. Um, I know there's people who who get discouraged very very easily, um, and it is tough, you know, uh, dealing with having a, a vision. It it can be tough, right? Having vision issues or whatever. But you gotta understand that everybody has something going on in their life. Unfortunately, it's just true. Everybody has something, whether it's physical emotional uh mental so everybody dealing with something so understand that and if you have a vision problem and you're watching this and maybe you feel like wow this dude's making it through yeah i am because i'm choosing to i'm choosing to not let something so positive that was supposed to be so positive it didn't turn out that great i'm not gonna let that just cripple me and crumble you know crumble me or whatever i'm gonna keep going keep doing my research keep networking with people talking to people helping people i'm gonna keep going right that's all you can do really but on the real i am truly optimistic about the future and excited actually about better procedures right so this is my year update right this is where i'm at but i'm gonna keep going so you know this ain't the end all be all but this is one year after having this procedure done and um, before I close this video, I, I do want to say, hopefully this person watching, someone did donate to my Caring page because if you've been watching my videos, you know this shit costs $21,600. Um, right now, I still owe about about seventeen, almost $18,000 left. Um, but someone did donate to my Caring page $560, which... And it was anonymous, which kind of sucked. It was, I appreciate it, but it was anonymous. So I, I couldn't write them back because anybody that donates and they leave your name and everything, I, I communicate with you and I, and I, you know, I try to thank you and talk to you. And I was excited to see that amount of money come in and I tried to write them back and it was anonymous. So hopefully you're watching this video. You know who you are if you donated $560, which is absolutely incredible helped out a lot you have no idea so if you watch this thank you if you know the person who did donate that thank them for me um but yes my uk page is still set up got a long way to go um and you more than uh free to donate if you got it. and obviously you don't got to be 560 dollars or anything i'm just trying to get this damn bill paid off 
cannot wait to get this paid off. So, but anyway, um, that's the one year update. Oh yeah, and the link will be in the description for the UK page if you want to contribute. It's up to you. I'm gonna keep doing these videos anyway. So, um, but yeah, you can subscribe to this channel if you want. Share this video. Share it with others if you want. Uh, ask questions. Comment whatever I will. Uh, communicate with you if you do comment or got any questions all right this was a long video but trying to share my experience all right till the next time see you